Hello everyone, welcome to the Friday Poetry Class online. This is me, and Bonnet is here with us today, and I have to give her a hug. There she is. I am going to introduce to you a wonderful poet that you may have never heard of. Her name is Elsa Gidlow, and she has, um, this is my copy of her autobiography, which I have to confess I haven't read yet, but I am going to because she's an amazing, amazing woman. And um, she lived in the first half of the 20th century. And uh, she wrote, writes very strong poems about women's power, and which comes absolutely from the earth. Now let me show you a, a couple of pictures of her, which are in the, um, they're in the, um, oops, there goes Bonnet. Okay, Bon, I'm sorry. You were pretty good there, girl. Okay, um, let's get these photos up. This is Elsa when she was 76 years old. Isn't she beautiful? Yes? And this is Elsa when she was 18. And you can see she liked cats. She also liked dogs, I know but she has many pictures with herself with cats. She's a wonderful poet and a strong warrior. She's called a warrior poet because she was so clear and strong with her poems for women's power. Now I'm going to read you a little bit of the poem that I have in the class just to give you a sample of it all. And so give me a minute while I get the book here. And we have, we are surrounded by cats. Ooh, oops, wrong book. Oops, sorry folks. Here we go. Don't give up. Don't give up on me. Here we go. Got it. All right. Okay. Here's uh, one of the stanzas from her poem called A Creed, A Creed for Women. Together or alone, we dance her dance. We do the work of the mother she we have called goddess for human comprehension. She the source, never to be grasped mystery, terrible cauldron, womb, spinning out of her the unimaginably small and the immeasurably vast galaxies, worlds, flaming suns, and our earth fertile with her beneficence. Here, offering tenderest flowers, yet flowers whose roots may split rock. That's just one, ooh, fun it like that. <laughs> you will enjoy this class. I have, um, you'll see the whole of the poem and uh, a prompt for you to write and links so you can find out more about Elsa Gidlow. And we won't see you next Friday, but the following Friday, I am going to have for you dog poets, wonderful dogs who write poetry. Look forward to it. There will be wonderful wolves and arfs, and um, Sophie will be with us. And I hope to see you at the Zoom meeting on Monday um, for Wisdom's Thanksgiving. Powerful women. We are powerful women. We crack rocks. Bye.